welcome back to my youtube channel today i want to make a video that i feel like will touch a soul or a couple of souls because i was once the girl that complained because i had poofy hair or frizzy hair and i didn't have straight hair but i also didn't have wavy hair but i also didn't have curly hair so i just thought i was just the unluckiest girl with the unluckiest hair type that was not true and if you're watching this video and you're like well i have poofy hair and frizzy hair and i don't have wavy hair i don't have curly or straight hair then this video is for you because that is also probably more likely than not not true so this is what my natural hair looks like i just washed it today as you can tell it's pretty wavy now i'm not gonna sit here and say that my hair is the perfect wavy hair every everyone has different wave patterns okay but once upon a time i never rocked my natural hair ever now i know that my natural hair is this wavy hair type And by the end of this video, you will have all the expert techniques and tips. Well, they're not really expert tips or techniques. They're just my techniques and tips for styling your natural and wavy hair because everyone deserves to just love their hair and get out of the shower, style it, and be like, you know what? I'm pretty happy with this. Okay, I'm going to start off by giving you some everyday tips that I've learned and that I live by for my wavy hair. And the first one is to not brush your hair. I feel like that is the number one mistake that I see people doing with naturally wavy hair thinking that they have poofy hair they brush and then comb out their hair which is the thing that i used to do the most i mean every day i would just like brush through my hair or midday i would just brush through my hair at the end of the day brush through my hair and the sad truth although it's not really a sad truth but just the truth that you're gonna have to face is that you cannot run your fingers through your hair if i were to sit here right now and run my fingers through my hair these waves they're gonna be gone. What you're gonna see is a mess of frizziness and poofiness. So I recommend letting go of the brush, letting go of the comb and not brushing your hair, especially when it is dry. If your hair is wet, that is the best time to comb through it. They say it's the most damaging, but what can we do? What can we wavy hair girlies do when I can't brush my hair or comb my hair when it's dry? So do not brush, do not comb your hair, especially when it is dry. Leave it alone, do not touch it because brushing and combing through it, it'll make it poofy, it'll ruin its natural like wave pattern, so just leave it alone. The second tip I'm gonna give you, this one's gonna hurt. This one, I feel like most people are gonna be like, no, skip. And I mean, you could skip it, but it really helps my hair to lay off the heat for a while. I stopped straightening it. I stopped blow drying it. I really had to restore these natural wave patterns because I had spent so many years just like br hot combing, like straightening, curling it, blow drying it. I had spent so many years just applying direct heat to my hair that it was ruining my natural wave pattern. And once you focus on restoring your hair instead of always heat styling it, then you'll start to see like how how much healthier and how much better your hair can look without all the heat now that did take a while because there's this weird awkward phase between when you're heat styling it and once it actually starts to look better it'll probably take like a month or two maybe even three depending on how much you've styled it or dyed it if you're comfortable leaving your hair down while you're in that little awkward transition phase then go for it and good for you that means your hair still looks good and if you are in that transition phase and you're like hey my hair looks terrible i suggest just putting it up in a cloth clip in a ponytail whatever but lay off the heat just for a little bit trust me your hair will thank you and you will thank me once you see your natural hair come back to life the next tip i want to give you is to definitely invest in products high quality products i was using like I was just using like regular old shampoo that is just not good for your hair. I suggest doing some research on your hair type, like how dry it is, how much moisture you want, etc. And just investing a few more dollars into a higher quality brand of shampoo or conditioner. People have this like misconception. Is that the right word? People have this idea that you can just wake up with natural, like, wavy hair. I mean, it'll look good, right? Like, hair is hair. Wrong. You have to style it just like how you heat style your hair. Just like how if you were curling your hair or if you were straightening or blow drying it, you would apply a product or prep it or whatever. You have to do the same thing for wavy hair. Now, I've met people with, like, wavy or curly or 
yeah, wave your curly hair and they just wake up and it looks stunning and I'm like, you are so lucky. You don't understand what we wavy hair girls have to go through. Like now I use like a detangler, I use a leave-in conditioner or leave-in cream, I use a wave spray, I use mousse, I'll use a gel or I'll use an oil. Obviously not all those things in one routine, but I'm saying like those are some products that now I reach for every time after the shower. I don't even let my hair like be exposed to air without me applying something to my hair that's like actual science you are not supposed to like let your hair air dry it's like worse for your hair or like you should be applying leave-in conditioner or like lightly blow dry your hair but don't let it air dry too much the point is i definitely definitely recommend styling and applying products and using higher quality products for your hair okay my last tip that is super important that I want to share with you is to make sure you have an extensive wash day routine down. I mean, as I said before, I used to just hop in and out of the shower and just come out like nothing and then complain as to why my hair didn't look good. And that's because I was not giving my hair enough attention before my wash, during my wash and after my wash. And that is super important. And they all have different like techniques and tips that I definitely recommend you follow if you want like naturally wavy, healthy hair because healthy hair looks good. Okay, let's do this thing. I haven't showered. I haven't washed my hair in like three or four days. So there's definitely a lot of buildup in there. Also just came back from the gym. So the hair struggling. Part of my pre-shower routine is to comb out my hair. This is one of the only times that I ever comb out or brush out my hair. And this is because we are going to oil it. We're going to oil the scalp and we are also going to oil our ends. I tend to have a drier scalp, but no matter what your scalp type is, oiling your scalp is amazing for your hair. It'll improve thickness. It'll promote hair growth. It'll keep the dry, itchy scalp flakes away. I like to massage it into my scalp in circulating motions. This promotes blood flow to your scalp, which again, promotes hair growth, hair thickness, all of that. I also oil my ends, and this is because I tend to have drier ends. Also, please excuse me looking to the right. I am literally watching Love Island while I do this. I oil my ends, one, because I have drier ends, and two, this protects my hair from the shampoo, which can be a bit drying for your hair. I let the oil sit in my hair for half an hour to an hour, and then I hop in the shower. Oh my god, that rhymed. Alright, first step is to apply conditioner to your ends. I know people do this after the shampoo. I like to do it before because it provides a little bit more protection from the shampoo and how drying it usually is on my ends. You can skip that step totally up to you and your hair type, but I definitely recommend it. Next step is a clarifying or exfoliating shampoo. I'm using the one by Briogeo. This is going to get rid of all that product and oil buildup that has been there for days. And it's just going to make sure your scalp is really nice and clean. So notice how I'm only massaging the shampoo into my scalp and I'm not dragging it down to my ends. Again, that can be super drying for your hair. Next step is to do a second shampoo rinse. I'm grabbing my favorite shampoo. You can literally grab whichever shampoo you like. It can be moisturizing. It can promote hair growth. It can be for bond repair. Whatever, whatever you want. This is really going to help to get rid of any extra buildup that was left from the first shampoo and also bring some more benefits to your hair that the first clarifying or exfoliating shampoo might not bring. Again, notice how I only shampooed my scalp, but once I'm rinsing it out, I like to make sure I rinse everything out from the ends as well because I want my hair to be very clean when I apply my hair mask, which is the next step, and this is the one by Briogeo. I make sure all the water is drained out of my hair, and then I apply the hair mask to my ends and mid-ends. If you're not using a hair mask, I definitely, definitely recommend you add one to your routine. This is really going to help repair that moisture, that shine, and those natural wavy or curly hair patterns after so much heat damage. Adding a hair mask to my routine really really changed my hair i clip it up and i leave it in for 10 minutes and then i rinse it out once i'm out of the shower i make sure my hair is in a microfiber towel for a couple of minutes now this is my routine your routine can look completely different than mine but the first step is i apply detangler and this is one of the only two times where i ever comb out or brush my hair after this you will not see me with the brush until the next wash day now i'm applying this briogeo hair serum to my ends my ends, again, tend to be particularly more dry than the rest of my hair, so I'll make sure that gets a lot of moisture. Now I apply a leave-in cream or conditioner to tame that frizz a little bit. And I don't have that much hair, so I'm not using that much product. And especially when you're using multiple products, make sure you're not using a ton of each product. This is when I start scrunching the products into my hair because you want those wave patterns to sort of start to form. Depending on how wavy your hair is, you might need to do more scrunching or less scrunching. I need to do a little bit more just to bring those patterns to life. And my last step is mousse. I used to steer 
far away from mousse but i really like this one by pureology and it is perfect for sculpting my waves and getting rid of frizz without leaving my hair feeling sticky or crunchy i also like to take my microfiber towel and do some scrunching with that as well this will soak up any excess water and any excess product and i feel like it makes my waves look so much better and so lightweight this is what my hair looks like when it's wet it doesn't look very wavy yet i definitely recommend not messing around with your hair too much while it's drying just leave it alone let it dry naturally and this is what it looks like when it's fully dry and yes i did my makeup she is slaying as you can see my hair is definitely wavy it's definitely not straight but it's also not curly so this is my freshly washed wavy hair if you're not happy with how your wavy hair looks and you think it needs a little bit more i like to add a wave spray once it's fully dry i feel like this is the perfect final touch to bring everything together a wave spray is also good for retouching your wavy hair days after your wash day it just literally brings everything back to life i make sure to scrunch it into my hair and the last and final step is some oil i definitely recommend oils oils are great for your hair pre-wash post-wash everything makes my hair less frizzy more shiny and it looks so healthy if you can follow that i promise you your hair is going to change your life like your hair will look so much better if you can just follow that wash day routine and obviously some things are catered more to my hair type and my scalp type for example like oiling my hair before i have a very dry scalp overall though that's a very good thing to be doing in general so i still recommend it you're watching this video and you're like i have poofy hair not wavy hair no you don't you probably don't you might you might have poofy hair not wavy hair but more likely than not you definitely have wavy hair you just haven't learned how to style it and that's okay that's what this video was for trust me do do that routine once follow the tips i gave you once and the next day you're gonna be like is that my hair and i'm gonna be like yes you're welcome i would love to know if down the line if this video did help you and it low-key changed your life which is okay to admit change your life a little bit and if it did change your life i would love for you to send me a message to let me know because that would just make me so happy because i was once in your position where i didn't know how to style my hair and i didn't learn how to style my hair until like two and a half three years ago so that's still pretty recent like i went all of college all of college walking around like i don't know what my hair is like i don't know so i would love if you would send me a message just to let me know i feel like that would make my heart glow anyways guys thank you for watching i hope you have a lovely day and good luck on your wavy hair care routine journey